Welcome to First Word, striving to make God's Word your first priority today. 2 Chronicles 20, verses 1-30 through After this the Moabites and Ammonites, and with them some of the Minuites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, A great multitude has come in against you from Edom, from beyond the sea, and behold, they are in Hezazah Tamar, that is in Gedi. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid and set his face to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord before the new court, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. In your hands are power and might, so that none is able to withstand you. Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel, and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham your friend? And they have lived in it and have built for you in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house, and cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save. And now, behold, the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came from the land of Egypt, and whom they avoided and did not destroy. Behold, they rewarded us by coming to drive us out of your possession, which you have given to us to inherit. O oh, our God, we will not execute judgment on them, for we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are all on you. Meanwhile, all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, son of Benaiah, son of Jael, son of Mattiah, and Levite of the sons of Ahaz, Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they will come up to by the ascent of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley, at the east end of the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, and the Lord will be with you. Then Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. God did indeed save them. In fact, if you read the rest of the passage, the enemies killed off themselves, and the next day Judah could see them lying dead in the valley where they were stationed. Consider the complete reliance that Judah was placing upon God. Pray that we too would totally rely on God in every circumstance of life, that God brings our way. Pray that God will receive the glory for the victories that are accomplished in His name. Thank you for joining us at First Word.